Hey guys, Brody here with Squids Pressure Washing LLC, Kansas City's highest rated exterior cleaning company and a veteran owned business. I wanna show you guys this thing here and know it is not a bomb, but is a way to check the status of your battery. For your 12 volt or other implements, it's got an on off switch and an LED indicator for that and a battery cutoff switch. The next thing that's going in this is the um, adapter for the battery tender so that I can charge all the batteries on the trailer um, just with plugging that little adapter in too. But what is this? This happens to be two motorized ball valves and this happens to be a thousand meter range remote. Boom, so check it out. That means soap is on. Can you see that bottom ball valve open? That means soap is off and water is flowing through the injector. Upper ball valve open. This thing is awesome, it works. I walked halfway down the block and this thing works. Um, I'm not gonna promise that I'm gonna put part numbers and everything else in the description because I always promise that and then I never do it. And some of you guys are probably tired of me breaking promises. So you might have to do a little Google search. But, boom, downstreaming. Battery's at 12.7, happy day. Let's turn on jet fighter switch for fat boy. Oh, it's on. Turn off soap. Turn on water. Does it by itself. Then, if we want to kill the battery so nobody can flip switches or mess with anything, battery cutoff switch. It's a hot mess right now. But when I get this thing together and tightened up, I will make another video and show you guys this on the trailer. But these are on there with, you probably can't tell, but these are on there with some semi-permanent double-sided outdoor tape. I don't know how good it's, gonna, good it's gonna work. I scuffed the bottom of the box and the top of the ball valves. So that tape is just on there kind of while it settles in. Um, but I imagine I'll learn really quick. So hopefully you guys think that's as cool as I do. Like I said, it's a hot mess. Things are gonna get cleaned up now that everything's tested. I've got a fuse panel and there's a relay in there for the fat boy. I've got an extra bus block that I didn't actually need. But command and control center I think is pretty cool. We'll give you one more ooh and ah. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What would you guys add to your own command and control center if you had a chance to make one? And if you guys haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, please like. I can't do live videos anymore because YouTube changed their policy. I gotta have over 10,000 subscribers to go live, which at 411, which I absolutely appreciate, might be a while. So video content might be fewer and farther between, but like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Uh, we'll give you guys a breakdown at a future date on how this thing's wired if you want to wire your own. Um, but again, I won't promise part numbers or anything. You guys are pretty resourceful people. You can go on Amazon, do some Googling, and find this other stuff. But like, subscribe. Thank you very much.